All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Time in Power, and I wanted to make another wrestling-themed video specifically about the wrestler Bruno San Martino because, unfortunately, just last week, he passed away at the age of 82 years old. Now, not only was Bruno San Martino a legendary wrestler, but he was also a very, very strong power lifter. In fact, he set a legitimate bench press record back in 1959. And I'm not talking about a fake record that was made up for his wrestling character or something that was kind of invented to make him seem stronger. Back in 1959, he set a legitimate world record, and he was the first man to bench over 500 pounds. So before Bruno, in the early 1950s, there was a guy named Doug Hepburn who was the first man to bench press 400, 450, and then 500 pounds. And then a couple years later, in 1959, Bruno San Martino would become the first man ever to press 565 pounds. So not only did he break and set a world record, he beat the previous record by 65 pounds. That is a massive leap uh, from one record to another. In fact, to give you guys some perspective of how big of a jump 65 pounds is from one record to another, all the bench press world records going back to 1996, and this is raw bench presses, so from 96 to 2018, they've all been in the low 700. So in 1996, the bench press record was 705 pounds. And now currently in 2018, the current record is 739 pounds. So in 22 years, the raw bench press record has only increased roughly 34 pounds. So for Bruno San Martino to shatter that record like he did, especially back in the 1950s, I mean, a 565 bench back then was just an insanely impressive feat of strength. And back when he completed that bench press, he was actually relatively small compared to the size that he would be as a pro wrestler. He was about six foot tall or a little bit under, um, weighing about 260 pounds. And it was this initial bench press record that would catch the attention of Vince McMahon Sr. And originally, you know, the reason he brought Bruno San Martino over into his wrestling organization. So that big bench press would essentially be the start of Bruno San Martino's career. So back in the late 50s, early 60s, after he set that bench press record, that would be where uh, Bruno San Martino started his career with the WWWF, and that was the Worldwide Wrestling Federation, which would later become the WWF, the World Wrestling Federation, which of course would later become the WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment. Now, Bruno San Martino also had one of the longest reigning title reigns in wrestling history, lasting nearly eight years when he won his first WWWF um, World Heavyweight Championship. So seven years, eight months, and one day to be exact. And then his second title run with the WWWF would last almost three years and five months. So if you guys didn't realize how iconic of a wrestler Bruno San Martino was, his title run altogether in the WWWF would last over 10 years um, if you combine the two title reigns. And then later on in his career, he would come back to the WWF in 1984, and that would last till about 1988, um, where during that time, he would win the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship, and he would also appear at WrestleMania. Now, another interesting thing about Bruno San Martino's pro wrestling career is he is one of the very few wrestlers to have a match with somebody where the other person actually died, likely as a result of that match. So Bruno San Martino in 1961 had a match with a wrestler named Chick Garibaldi. Um, and during that match, Bruno San Martino body slammed Chick Garibaldi to the canvas and he did not get back up. And the referee came over, stopped the match and determined that uh, Chick Garibaldi was dead on the spot. The cause of death will later be determined as a heart attack. And then this photo right here is a pretty interesting photo that I came across. So in this photo, he's signing an autograph for a woman named Kathy Siegel. And for those of you that don't know, she was actually a female bodybuilder that would go on to win the Miss International competition in 1987, which is one of the biggest competitions in female bodybuilding. And she actually had a very impressive physique during her bodybuilding career. So Bruno San Martino not only inspired tons of people to become wrestlers, but it also inspired tons of people to start working out and be strong because he was widely regarded as one of the most powerful pro wrestlers of all time. Um, and a lot of people were inspired just by his sheer strength. Um, so I just wanted to make this video uh, because unfortunately he recently passed away. I was planning on making a video about him for a long time, but I felt the timing was right for this video in light of last week's event. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.